Hey everyone, Psychrayasin here, and today I'm doing some more marker sketching, and I think this one's the last one out of the batch that I recorded. And uh, the reason there's a plus sign in the middle of the page is just so my camera has something to autofocus on, um, because I'm drawing light, and if you draw light, uh, it has trouble focusing. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm doing some more marker sketching, and this one, I really wasn't happy with the result, and I was thinking, yeah, I don't really want to show this one, but, um, I don't know, then I started to think more about being an example, and setting an example, and not caring about results, because that's what I always talk about, right? Um, not to care about results. And so today I wanted to mainly talk about mileage and drawing every day and why it's important to be drawing every day. And it's something I've been telling people uh, more and more often uh, recently. And so I figure I should just do a talk on it. And it is to draw every day. Now, maybe if I say draw every day, the first thought that might come to your mind is some kind of but, and then a reason why that would be not possible. Um, but I think the reason people have the but is because they're thinking not about drawing every day, but drawing something they're proud of every day, or drawing something good every day. And that is not what I'm talking about. I am talking about simply drawing every day, the act of drawing every day. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be anything. Like, it's not about the result. It's simply the act of moving your hand um, with whatever tool you're using and creating a drawing every day. And uh, that could take a minute. Like, maybe you only spend a minute on drawing, but you got a drawing done that day. Or it could take an hour, you know, or more, whatever whatever you want. But the important thing is that you're drawing every day. And it's something I started, I think, in 2003. Um, I committed to doing a drawing every day because I would have periods where I would not draw for maybe two months or <laughs> probably even more at some times. And uh, then I'd get into drawing and get out of drawing and I realized if I really want to be an artist, this is not going to work for me. Um, so I need to be drawing every day. And so I created a sketchbook journal. Um, I just bought a big sketchbook with 500 pages. And I made sure I put down the date and then I would do a drawing. And that is something that I decided early on not to show anybody. Because if I showed people then it would be about the results and it would be about uh, maybe showing off or being afraid that I want to create something good because someone might see this. So it was really helpful to me to just put down the date, do my drawing, and that is a secret. Nobody, nobody has to see that. And um, it really helped because what happens is after a while, I think it's 14 days, but it becomes a habit. And then once it's a habit, you don't even notice that you're doing it anymore. So you're doing a drawing every day, but it doesn't feel like you're doing a drawing every day because you need to almost do more than a drawing every day for it to register in your head as like, oh, I did a drawing today. Um, and so I think it's just so important to get your mind... Um, in the right space and to think of yourself as someone who draws every day um, regardless of the quality now I take a day off or I used to um, when I was working uh, on more commercial projects I would have a day off and even on that day I was drawing every day but as I said it doesn't count it doesn't register as like oh you did a drawing because to me the drawing is something I would do outside of that sketchbook. And what I do in the sketchbook is just like the same as brushing your teeth. It doesn't count. It's just like, whatever, that's what I do. And so I think that's really important. And again, the other thing is, is the result thing. It's such a big thing. And I'm seeing 
or I get lots of emails and people asking me, you know, how can I improve? Can you give me a critique or things like this? And the most common thing I'm seeing is just there's a lack of mileage. It's not that they are bad or um, not talented or anything like that. It's that they just haven't been drawing enough. And the other thing I see is this, or maybe this is why there's a lack of mileage, is just focused on results. It's like, I'm drawing this thing. I want to draw this thing. How can I get better at drawing, um, you know, faces or more realism or dragons or something? And to that, I feel like they're missing the point, at least in the beginning anyway. It's not so much what you do, it's that you do. And it's the same as what I think in general is true about creation. It's not what you create, it's that you create um, that is important. The act of creation is what makes you a creator. You're just making stuff, that's what you do. Um, I used to be afraid of when I would have good ideas, I would be afraid that I need to keep this idea or make something out of this idea because it's a good idea and I may never have another good idea again. <laughs> and everything felt very precious to me. And then I started thinking differently, and I told myself, I am an idea-generating machine. <laughs> I can just make ideas. And that helped because it meant this is an accident. This is just, like, maybe I won't make a good idea every single time, but I am capable of creating good ideas. And if I created one, I can create another. And then it's just a matter of understanding that, um, like, I've been told that out of every hundred drawings, you might get one good drawing. And I don't think that ratio is particularly accurate, but let's say it's true. Well, then you shouldn't even be thinking about any type of good drawing. You should just be making as many drawings as you can uh, with the knowledge that, you know, out of every 100, you're probably going to get a good drawing. So then, you know, make thousands, and then you'll have a few good drawings, just because that's what it seems to take. So that's why it's really important to keep drawing all the time and gain mileage. And in the beginning, it doesn't really matter what you do. Um, you can look at tutorials and learn perspective or uh, learn proportions and anatomy. All this is good, but for complete beginners, it's more important that you're just drawing a lot because it is building your hand-eye coordination that is important. And I've mentioned this before in how uh, a video I made called How to Practice Drawing, and I had some people critiquing that and saying, oh, but this isn't what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to learn your fundamentals and everything, and I feel like they're kind of missing the point. I feel fundamentals are great, but this is something that almost comes in to play when you're beginner intermediate, um, just because if you're not even comfortable with drawing, then it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be doing that other stuff. And um, there's a lot of parallels in, in, in many different things. For instance, um, let's say you want to play piano and someone says you have to practice scales and it's like okay so you know da 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 whatever but um if you don't even know where to put your fingers like how to do basic fingering if you don't even feel comfortable um you know moving both your hands together that information is not useful at this point and it's the same as um, if someone says, you know, you have to draw your perspective or practice perspective and you can't draw straight lines or um, uh, you have to do proportions and you just haven't drawn enough to be able to even pull off basic line work, then it becomes more difficult. And you have to think of it that you're training muscles to get to a certain degree that you can use them to do the next thing and then the next thing after that. And so, in the beginning, I think the most important thing is just draw, 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 draw a lot. Um, look at tutorials if you want, don't if you don't, doesn't matter, just draw. That's the biggest priority, is just create. Become a creator, trial and error. And then, 
it matters more about. Okay, now you're good at, I wouldn't say good at drawing because good at drawing just takes so freaking long. And also, I don't think one ever gets good at drawing. I think one gets better at drawing. <laughs> um, but uh, the better you get, the more you see how much more you have to learn. And so, anyway, my point is, uh, yeah, get that mileage as much as you can in the beginning. And you'll, you'll keep doing it. It's not like you stop drawing. You just keep going. It adds up more and it becomes all-consuming. <laughs> because um, as you improve, uh, art is changing your brain. And it's changing the way you see the world. And the world becomes more interesting. For instance, when I started painting and learning about values and, and color and how to nail those. And then I looked around and I would see values in things. Um, and I can do this now as well, where sometimes I'm bored and I'm waiting outside, maybe I'm running errands or something or standing in a line and it's boring, but then I just look around and I find a composition that I'm like, oh, that could be a scene. And then I start to imagine how I would draw that, how I would paint that, what value that is, uh, what color palette I would use. And so it's, it's getting better in art sort of infiltrates into life. Um, same thing as when I meet somebody, I'll look at their face and it's like, hmm, what are your proportions or how would I exaggerate you or things? Um, but this comes... This comes a bit later and I feel like there's a there's an impatience in the beginning and there's a lot of people who just there's a lot of people who want to draw or try to draw or are interested in drawing and just quit in the very early stage just because they didn't draw enough and then when they see someone else who is drawing more they feel like they're not as good and um, and they might even think like, well, I did a drawing, how come it's not, I'm not as good. And it's like, well, yeah, you, maybe you did a drawing, but are you drawing every day? Are you drawing all the time? Do you have as much mileage as the next person? And the thing with that basic mileage is it can come at any time. Like you could, you could be four years old and spend all your days drawing and then you're going to build up that initial mileage really quick and so you're going to have the comfort and confidence when you have a pencil in your hand to just feel like yeah i can use this this is my tool um whereas in the beginning everything is somewhat awkward uh especially if you try things like drawing with your with your shoulder or your elbow movements which you can see i'm doing right now like, I don't know if you can notice it, but um, there is some finger movement, but mostly it's uh, the elbow and things. And you can see the wrist does not move a whole lot. And my arm, the whole arm is moving around. And so these things aren't natural in the beginning, but again, you know, I'm just, I think the horse is dead and uh, I should stop beating it. <laughs> but anyway... Um, so yeah, I wasn't happy with these just because they didn't feel particularly natural. Um, there's not much appeal to it, but it's not something that bothers me so much anymore just because I've this, like nothing to me is precious. It's not like, well, I did this drawing, let's hang it up. It's like, I can do another one and another one and another one this stuff doesn't matter too much. And I remember um, seeing many years ago, I saw a Noman video by Ian McCaig and he was drawing, um, it was like a little mermaid or something. He was reimagining the little mermaid and he had drawn this astro uh, astronaut guy. And then he just, it was great. And he just erased it and he redrew the pose because he wasn't happy with it. And I was like, oh my god, uh, how, no, you should have saved that somehow. That was amazing. You, uh, like, it was fine. The other drawings he did were, were fine, but it was so difficult for me to wrap my head around someone creating something 
that was so much better than what I could ever dream of doing and then completely erasing it and doing something else. Um, and that's because I was still in the stage where drawings were precious to me and a good drawing meant something like, oh, I did a good drawing. Wow, that is something. And now a good drawing is like, okay, you did a good drawing. <laughs> Do another one. Like, it, it's just, I've done so many, it doesn't matter. And now I'm, I find myself more in the position of Ian McCaig where I wouldn't be the least bit hesitant to do something that was like a good drawing and then scrap it completely and and do another one because you know you can do it you know this isn't this isn't random or magic or accidental um, and in the beginning things feel that way because if out of every 10 drawings you get one good one then yeah it's like that might feel like an accident but if you do thousands and you have a hundred good ones it's like mm. It's not an accident. It's just a matter of time. So anyway, I hope that helped. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.